Hello, friends. The 747th day of the war between Russia and Ukraine continues. Fighting continues west of Avdivka. The Russians attack in the northern part of Berdichi. The capture of this village could bring down the northern flag of the current line of defense of the Ukrainian armed forces. There are battles in the eastern part of Orlovka and to the south the Russians are attacking Tonenki from the flanks. In Tonenki, the Russians significantly advanced to the northeast and also entered the northwestern part of the settlement. One of the factors of Russian advance is considered to be the massive use of aerial bombs. Earlier, the Ukrainian command said that Russia had reduced airstrikes due to losses in aircraft. After significant losses, a 50 long range radar detection aircraft and Su 34 and Su 35 fighters. The occupiers significantly reduced the number of airstrikes with gliding bombs, wrote the commander of the Ukrainian Air Force Olshchuk. However, the American Institute for the Study of War has found no convincing evidence that the rate of attacks by Russian unguided glide bombs has decreased, the Institute said. Analysts recall recent Forbes data that Russian planes are flying 100 or more sorties and bombing Ukrainian positions about 40 kilometers away. This indicates that Russian aircraft continue to conduct relatively high volumes of glide flights and bombing attacks on Ukraine, despite Ukrainian claims that such aircraft have been shot down, the Institute said. Let me remind you that, according to the Ukrainian Air Force, around mid-February the number of Russian aircraft shot down has sharply increased. From February 17 to March 2, their number reached 15 aircraft. That is, on average, one plane was shot down every day. At the same time, in Russian military telegram channels, including those that previously regularly confirmed the defeat of Russian aircraft, this number of downed aircraft is disputed, arguing that in most cases the information about defeats is fake. And statements about a sharp increase in the intensity of plane downings are supposedly an attempt by the Ukrainian command to maintain morale in society after the fall of Avdiivka and also to show that the main problem for the Ukrainian troops is already being resolved, the Russians dropping planning bombs from planes. The impetus for these conversations was given by the publication by the commander of the Air Force of a video, which was designated as the defeat of a Russian plane on March 1. But in fact, the video with which Air Force Commander Olshik illustrated the downing of a Russian plane on March 1 turned out to be old. Judging by YouTube data, it was posted on February 28th. The author of the video states behind the scenes that the smoke in the background is burning grass. In addition, the intensity of the Russians dropping gliding bombs is still very high. Moreover, as Build reports, Russia has begun mass production of the heaviest glide bomb, the one and a half ton FAB-1500. According to the publication, approximately 50 Ukrainian soldiers die at the front every day most of them precisely because of the use of glide bombs by the Russian military. Air Force Commander Olshuk warned in November 2023 that in Russia there are signs of preparation for the mass deployment of the FAB-1500. In February, Shoigu visited the plant where these bombs are produced. Russian television then stated that their production had been going on since the beginning of the war. Meanwhile, CNN reports that new Russian air bombs have changed the balance of power at the front. The material talks about the FAB-1500, a one-and-a-half-ton weapon, half of which consists of high-explosive explosives. It is dropped from above by fighters from a distance of approximately 60 to 70 kilometers beyond the reach of many Ukrainian air defense systems. Experts believe that the American Patriot Complex is almost the only missile defense system capable of resisting such bombs, but the Ukrainians have a limited number of them, as well as missiles for them. Recent videos from the fighting in the Donetsk region demonstrated the enormous power of these bombs. The damage caused by it is very serious. If you survive, you are guaranteed to have a shell shock. This puts a lot of pressure on the morale of the soldiers. Not all of our guys can withstand this. If they are more or less accustomed to the FAB-500 than the FAB-1500, this is hell, a military man from the front line Krasnohorivka, which is being stormed by Russian troops, told the agency. Russian specialized telegram channels claim that the accuracy of the FAB-1500 is 5 meters. 
CNN cites the opinion that Russia has an inexhaustible supply of these bombs. However, Ukrainian air defenses near the front lines appear to have increased. Because of this, the number of videos from Russians about the destruction of these systems has increased, but we will talk about this in the following videos. Friends, preparing these daily reports has become my full-time job, and I have no other job for obvious reasons. There have been few views on the channel lately, which is why I ask for your help. If you have the opportunity to support me financially, I would be very grateful. Thank you very much and see you in the next video.